he's a proponent of like yeah some radical you know African communism you know mm. or whatever. Sorry, mm. <laughs> no, sorry, man, said, I, sorry, I said African. A ton of them. He's Nigerian. No, I mean, real the African communist, bro. That's why a lot of niggas don't really fuck with the homeland like that sometimes, just because. Yo, you guys are communists. And but there's a lot of good capitalists there, bro. Nigeria, you should be over there bringing back fucking blood diamonds. That's what I'd be doing. I, I'd be hey. using your contacts. Hey, I always hey Gronk, to, what do you have to say about that? I always try to give this guy, guy the game. Why don't you give him a little there. advice on maybe doing some more illegal there. activities? Maybe give advice on how to start the drug trade so, for King Croc. Well, okay, so what you could do is move to so a big uh, uh, hub for mm. the international cocaine trade now is Africa because it comes... Uh, from the Atlantic, they they move it from Colombia into Venezuela, and they uh, they put it on ships, and then they just sail across the Atlantic, and they land in like Nigeria, wow. Sierra Leone, you know, Ivory Coast, all that shit, mm-hmm. and then they drive it north and the, into Europe, right? Oh. So you could so you could move over there, and you could be like the middleman between. Uh, you know, you could start working with like warlords and shit Damn. to like protect the cocaine shipments. Well, how long till he God, gets the, rich? God, how long till he does? One, one load or kill? One load. What? what? <laughs> also, one oh. load. <laughs> 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 he gets all the money and then they shoot him and take yeah. the money back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but this is so. No, no, we're going to talk about this. Oh. So I have this idea because the Connect, which I want to promote, yeah. uh, this is my show about drugs and prison and crimes. Of subs in what a, a month. Yeah, it's yeah, it's oh, wild. Shit, it's hitting. Man. Thanks, ma'am. It's um, tough, man. Congrats. Brother. So we had an idea, but we could maybe shoehorn this into a Leo and Danny episode. Mm-hmm. So the coast of Morocco, the very tip of Morocco, is only nine Beautiful miles uh, to the very tip of southern Spain, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And so that's obviously a huge place for smugglers because mm. it's so close. So hash smugglers <laughs> and coke smugglers will load up. Uh, these go fast boats and they're basically just fishing boats that have been outfitted with like mm. high end motors and they go like a hundred miles per hour yeah, across just, the water and it's just like a game of cat and mouse yeah. with the yeah, Spanish yeah, Coast Guard. Yeah. So what we could do <laughs> oh, is go yeah. over to Morocco, get somebody to rent us a go fast boat. We load the boats up with bales that look like drugs, but it's just like paper mache. Like it's nothing, you know what I mean? And then we say, go. And we just, as we're filming, we start flying across the Strait of Gibraltar oh. and see if we either get make it there or if we get pulled over. You know what I mean? Like, they're, they're not going to arrest us. They're I just going to. Nine I miles, would nine shoot, miles right? would only, it would be like 30 minutes. Like, that would be it. Yeah, Leo looks boat. like a Moroccan hash smuggler. Getting, <laughs> getting, we get caught yeah. if they put us in. Leo, Leo, dude, no, I'm I'm do, dude. Leo just <laughs> said uh, Mondays are for dressing like a genie, dude. Yeah, dude. Um, dude so that's not a bad idea, To though, make right? clear, the Coast Guard is the Spanish Coast Guard. The Spanish Coast Guard. As long as we're in Spanish custody and not the custody of the Moroccans. We're not going into custody because we're not doing anything illegal. Yeah, they would just pull us over and then we <laughs> get the footy. We might be we, breaking an international water speed limit. You might just have to <laughs> bribe them t- off a little a bit. It's a ticket, dude. It's I a, speak Spanish. Show us Johnny. Yeah. Have you seen speak those Spanish. clips with the... Million views, dude. Have you seen At those least. clips with the yeah. guys from Mogadishu in the go-fast boats pulling up next to tankers yeah. and oh. finding... Yeah. A batch of renegade soldiers on the decks, heavily armed, that just blow the guys away. Right, oh. yeah. Can you pull up one of those clips yeah. real quick, Austin? Ooh, bro, but what what props props to those fucking pirates, though, bro. So pirates attack tanker. Okay, I think because we'll they pull up to those ships, gigantic ships in little dinghy boats. Those aren't go fast boats. Mm. Those are like lifeboats with little motors, <laughs> and they start like blasting water at them. You know, they 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 like they do all these things to where like. Nor, most people would just give up. They're like, I can't, how am I supposed to scale this thing? Dude, look at this. This is real oh. footage. How is this allowed on YouTube, too? Yeah. So That's fucking wild, bro. I've seen a couple of these. I'm not sure which one this on one is. On the high seas. This is, a, this is a weird loop. But, yeah, I've seen some where the guys do come in on go fast boats, Johnny. Right. And oh, they okay. take so much fire. And they're taking a direct path to the boat. Yeah, yeah. And well. by the time the boat... The go fast boat reaches the tanker. It slams into the deck, and it just got two dead Ethiopian guys. Wow! Uh, yeah, Somalia, technically, but whatever. Mm-hmm. They, they might be both. <laughs> they're both pretty skinny. Hey, they're definitely they're definitely uh, long distance runners. <laughs> Look at this shit, dude. <laughs> Wait, I thought it was illegal to have a gun on a boat. I thought that was like marine law. I did. Uh, it doesn't Whoa. seem like it. Because I remember yeah. uh, hearing a story about a um, 
like uh, both I was under attack and they shot and killed them and then they got charged with murder when they came back to the US so they gotta shoot these guys wow, they're, I mean, they're, they're gonna come up and murder themselves though. no yeah. I, I think now there's gotta be like you gotta be able to have private security I think if you're licensed I you, think can have, you can have you can have like guns on a boat I would think I don't know look at these cats and they're still climbing the boat bro oh my that god is a fun job that's desperation yeah. dude piracy <laughs> to shoot the guys no no be private security oh okay things. yeah that like, would be a good gig piracy is a, them, look a them. tough lot but Get the shooter, dude maybe. this is but those guys, Whoa. I think those are like the highest paid people in Somalia. That's like the number the one fucking uh, job. <laughs> That's like an anesthesiologist? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <dude. laughs> hey, Somali, Somali moms want their daughters to marry a, a nice, honest pirate. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a bit, dude. That's funny. Oh, that that's is a good bit. That's a good crazy, bit. That would have been a bro. good bit when the, the Tom Hanks captain. Yeah, oh, yeah. man, when piracy was hot. See, funny. when you're writing a stand-up bit... It's ideal if something happened in pop culture about the piracy, right? It would be yeah. hard just to bust that bit out of thin air, right? It would be tough to, like, unless you had some way to relate to it. You yes. know what I mean? Like, yeah. I was in Somalia. Right. Fuck knows why, yeah. but I was there. And then, you know what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, it's tough yeah. to... Or you see, like, a Andrew Schultz saw, like, a Somalian guy in the audience of his special. Ooh. And so he played off the Captain Phillips line. His and everybody special was got good. It. Special was good. Yeah. Wow.